Hey there, Matt. How's it going? No, you're on mute. There you, you go. got me now, don't you? Yep, gotcha. All right. All right. We've got a few members of the Tri-Cities Media on here. They've submitted their questions to me, and I'm just going to run through them with you real quick. We'll record All it right. and share it with everybody. Um, first one, you had a nice weekend at the Dirt Nationals and Open Modified. Uh, what can you apply from that to this weekend? I'm just seeing, I mean, the, the modified to the trucker, huge difference, but just learning to, learning what the dirt did and learning to see how wide it would get and just to see just little bits and pieces what you could take away from the weekend and carry over and I, I feel I learned a few things and that's that's one of the big things I mean yeah it was awesome to be able to go around and modified there but I went there as well to be able to learn for my day job this weekend yeah definitely what did you think of the of the dirt track oh it was awesome I mean they, they did a great job when they when they finally uh took the keys away from the guy that kept doing the trap prep and doing the sheep's foot and tilling it up a little bit and making it one lane when they finally let it widen out in the main events it was it was phenomenal and they did a really really good job uh what was your reaction back when you heard uh when you first heard that the truck series would be joining the cup series on uh dirt at bristol oh i was i was super excited about it just because it's such a new different deal i was remember back in early 2000 when you guys had dirt on it and uh, I wasn't that big into it at that point, but now that I have my own dirt car and I, I go dirt racing a fair amount and to know that little bit of dirt experience, I might be able to carry over and be able to get a win. I, I've, I finished second twice there this last week. And I know I finished uh, second too many, too many times on the concrete. And uh, so maybe I could go win a truck race on the dirt there. What do you feel like is going to be the biggest challenge for the trucks on the mm -hmm. dirt at Bristol? Um, I, I just think, um just how wide it's going to get and just seeing what the track's going to do i mean the, the track prep people have have a lot of weight on their shoulders just because at the end of the day they're the ones that's got to make it perfect and they did a great job this last week with it but uh that's just learning and to be in the right place at the right time and knowing where to be uh for a fan who's maybe never been to a dirt race uh what do you think they can expect and what do they need to kind of understand to be able to follow the action this weekend at Bristol? Uh, just ready to be on the edge of your seat because it's going to be exciting without a doubt. I mean, it should have some good side-by-side -side racing. It's a lot of, a lot of beating and banging the, the way Bristol used to be without a doubt. And you're going to see really, really good racing. Um, bring you some goggles. It might get a little bit dusty. And that, that's one of the biggest things is bring some kind of goggles or some kind of glasses, safety glasses, just to keep the dirt, dirt out of your eyes. Um, in the truck series, a lot of you guys have a dirt background, racing Eldora. Um, do you do you feel like anybody will have a significant advantage with the trucks with so many guys having raced on dirt before? Uh, no, I, I think, I mean, just the guys that have been to Eldora and ran at Eldora and just have an idea of what it's gonna do at that point and how the trucks are gonna handle. So they're gonna have the, a little bit of advantage, but at the end of the day, these guys are gonna figure it out. We have heat races and a lot of practice to be able to figure it out as well. What would you say is the biggest difference between driving your truck on a dirt track versus driving your open modified? Uh, the modified is, I mean, quite a bit faster without a doubt. And it's lighter, but why, I, why I stick with the modified, just the, the power to the weight to the tire ratio is gonna be, a little bit more similar to what the truck is. So the, the speed difference is the biggest thing. Uh, what's going to be your strategy um, in going into the race? When? Yeah. <laughs> and just go out there and uh, just try to put yourself in position to win and try to be there at the end of the day. Because as we've seen, I mean, there's been a lot of yellow flags there at Eldor and they've tore up some stuff. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of beating and banging and everybody trying to figure out and pushing the limits that haven't really raced on dirt that much. Uh, what are your thoughts on having seven cup drivers so far in the field for this event? 
I'm, I'm excited about it. I, I wish we had seven cup drivers every week that raced against us with asphalt and just didn't put all the emphasis on this race. So, but should be cool. Uh, you won at Eldora in 2017 and you posted a top 10 finish there every time uh, on dirt. Um, what do you remember from your win there? And do you think that'll help you out this weekend? Oh yeah. I mean, it, it just, the dirt experience should help out and, and understanding what the dirt does and how it changes throughout thing. I mean, Eldora's dirt is going to be different than Bristol's dirt. And that's one of the reasons I went and ran this last weekend to just see what the dirt would do and how it would change throughout the night. Um, I think all that's going to help. So we just got to be there, able to have something there at the end to, to fight with. Uh, you've got one top five and three top tens in four races to start the season. How, how do you assess your team's start to the year? Uh, I mean, I, I'd give us about, I said it a little while ago, about a C. Um, we, we definitely need room for improvement. And we have an idea, a good idea where we need to keep working on our stuff. And I feel we're going to get there really soon because I know these guys are working really hard and TRD and Toyota giving us all the tools that we need to make our program even better. And I, I really excited for later in the year as well. Um, has there been any chatter among the truck series drivers about the dirt race at Bristol? Have you guys talked any or text chains or is there any? I don't talk to anybody. I, they, <laughs> those are the people you got to race and beat every week. So I'd rather not have to talk to them. <laughs> I mean, my teammates, yeah, that we've talked a little bit. The solder is the, the one that's talked to me the most about it because he virtually has no dirt experience. The only dirt experience Johnny has is racing at Eldora and uh, he'll probably go wear me out this weekend, but he, he had struggled in the past at, Eldora. Uh, the last question, uh, an iconic track like Bristol with temporary dirt track, um, you know, just given the roots of dirt and NASCAR history at a historic track like this, uh, how special would it be for you to win there? Oh, it'd be awesome to be able to be the first time putting dirt on at Bristol for NASCAR and to be able to win that, it would be, it'd be awesome. But my question to you is, what are you guys going to do when it's the best race you've ever had there? What are you guys going to do with that dirt? Oh, I, we're just going to save it and put it back on there <laughs> later, I'm sure. There you go. Um, one other thing, how important is the uh, practice and um, qualifying heat races in the overall oh, it's gonna be, having that? It's going to be, it'll be very important without a doubt. I mean, for me, I kind of wish we didn't have all of it because it might be an advantage because I just got to go race it uh, this last week. So... I mean, it's going to be very, very key to everybody, and especially the guys that haven't been on it at all. And yeah, what about racing under the lights? Oh, it, it, it always makes it more exciting, and it, it seems to bring out something different in the drivers during the, the night compared to day. All right. Well, we appreciate your uh, time, and uh, good luck this weekend, and we'll look forward to seeing you out there at Bristol. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yep.